Hey guys, happy holidays. This is the king of destruction here, Jax. And um, this is not a destruction video, as you guys may hope, every single one of these videos I put out. But uh, if you guys didn't know, recently I went to Portland, Oregon with my dad for a little getaway. And so on the way back, I thought to myself, why not visit those paranormal activity filming locations since nobody else on YouTube has ever done it. And also to check it off my little bucket list because if you guys didn't know, I've had just this one ambition for quite a long time to actually go visit these filming locations because, you know, nobody else has ever really done a video about showing these paranormal activity film locations. So why not just be the first one to do it. So yeah, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show, folks. The first location we're going to, since we're doing this in reverse chronologic order, uh, is the filming location for the Paranormal Activity 2 house. This is the neighborhood we're in. And we come up to this little gate. Just don't know why it's there, but it's just blocked off. Found out that there was like a little extravagant house there. Some private little house. And yeah, we're just coming up to the neighborhood using the app Waze. You know, it's a great advantage just to get around um, traffic or police or hazards. You know, my dad likes it so much. So he was like... If you're going to take me to these locations, you might as well use Waze. And so that's what we did. So yeah, pulling up to the location right now. This may be the farthest location there is, but you will utterly be surprised at how close a majority of these locations were to me and my dad. Owing to the fact that we stayed at Lauren's house overnight, one of my dad's co-workers, and the locations happened to be 30 minutes away, for the most part. And this is the house right here. You can see there's the front door. And then going back over here, you can see the driveway. And what's nice about each of these homes is that even though m much of these films are shot in L.A., they really knew how to fake it as if it were in Carlsbad, Santa Rosa, or Nevada. When in fact, all these locations were in L.A. And then, for the most part, trying to see if I can even find one of the security cameras that was mounted on the front door, what they used to film the movie. There's a bit of the backyard there. Got some anti-crime signs posted out in the front. And there's another back view. See, the barbecue is still there, the one that was used in the movie. And as for the swim pool, pretty sure it's like crammed all the way in the back. There's be no possible way to get in there unless we had a drone, but again, that'd just be sort of illegal, you know. Just wanted to respect the privacy of the neighbors. And this is the neighborhood. As you can see, it's real nice. You know, much of the houses look a bit medieval or sort of cottage, you know. And this is the castle that we came across on our way down. You can see why it was blocked off. Now we're coming up to the Paranormal Activity 4 filming locations. Now, I wish I would have assembled this in chronologic order, but honestly, I just didn't want to go too far. But uh, this one happened to be four minutes away from the Paranormal Activity 2 filming location. Here we're just trying to find Katie's house. I apologize for the shundy camera work, but, you know, we're just trying to locate her house. I think we did pass it, but I'm not real sure. This is probably the only sort of proof I have on video. And this is it, I think, one of the houses used. And to boot brings up a quite ironic story. Uh, just after I got these two shots of the house, the woman came out and she's like, why are you filming? I'm just like, Oh, I was just doing this for my bucket list. And then she just recalled from memory, Oh yeah, the house is just down the street. I'm a medium. It's a person that talks to ghosts, but she was cool with it, but you know, I just thought it was so ironic. So we're coming up on the next 
few locations. We're trying to locate the actual house used for Paranormal Activity 4. I'm just trying to get some more shots. Like, I'm not sure if we even got the correct house for Katie, and so I'm just getting whatever shots. Because I'm pretty sure in the actual film, uh, Katie's house was just across the street from Alex's. So we're just trying to locate that one. And a little known fact, uh, Paranoid Activity 4 is actually a direct sequel to Paranoid Activity 2, which actually makes sense for this location scouting video, because uh, these locations were actually four minutes away from the Paranoid Activity 2 filming locations, and the, the last one, which you'll see later on, was actually about like seven minutes away from these two spots. Figured just didn't want to waste time going back and forth. Just wanted it straightforward. So now we're coming up to the house. I'm going real slow because I just want to get this accurate shot of the house. But uh, this is it. You can see Alex's bedroom window from there. Here's the rest of the view of the neighborhood. By the way, the car we're using is a Bentley, which my dad is using, just to go around these locations, and also what we used for our two road trips. And in case you didn't notice there, I had like a little checklist of all the locations just so I could be able to recoup it to dad. I'll just be easier just to have something on hand rather than just for memory. And we're about to stumble upon another and we're about to stumble upon another ironic part of the trip. I don't know if Toby was following us while doing these locations, aside from the medium, but there was this guy in his car and his car would not even stop honking. I don't know if it was a mechanical malfunction, but we just thought it was so funny. Just want to be able to throw it into this little video. And now we're coming up to our last filming location where they shot Paranormal 3 and I believe a bit of part 6. It's coming up right here. There, that's it. That's the one. And here it is in all of its glory. Now I do think this is in North Ridge, but it's just as good as it gets. Now this is a little known trivia for you fans out there or for you folks that don't even know Paranormal Activity. But in the original trailers for this movie, the house caught on fire, you know? There was a mention of a house fire in the first movie, but in the final film, the house fire never even happened. In fact, uh, it's not even up until part six to where it's perceived that the house actually burned down in 1992. And here's the infamous driveway to where Katie got her picture snapped as a child. And then there's some more parts of the house. And that's all there is to it. Come to think of Paranormal Activity 3, I really wish they would release a director's cut with much of the missing footage, but as found out on the internet, with the magic of the internet, the film crew had shot so much footage that they could assemble two completely different versions of the same film, which is valid, but I would very much like to see a few of some of the scary bits be sliced back into the film, and that way we could have had a much interesting dynamic. But a director's cut will 100% be unlikely, because I would have loved to hear about what was it like for the directors to make this movie and all that kind of stuff. But that's just how it is in Hollywood. So there you have it, folks. Thanks for watching. Tune in for more destruction videos that'll be coming up this Christmas season. Just saying.